Hello everyone, in this lesson, let's talk about temperature and heat. We will also discuss thermal expansion, which includes linear and volume expansion. We'll also learn about specific heat capacity. Temperature is the quantity that tells how hot or cold something is compared with the standard. A common thermometer measures temperature by showing the expansion and contraction of a liquid in a glass tube using scale. If there is a difference in temperature between two objects, heat flows. Therefore, temperature is a measurement of how hot or cold something is. Whenever something becomes warmer, the kinetic energy of its atom or molecule has increased. When the atoms or molecules in matter move faster, the matter gets warmer. Its atoms or molecules have more kinetic energy. The higher the temperature of a substance, the faster is the motion of its molecule. Temperature is related to the random motion of the molecules in the substance. The warmth you feel when you touch a hot surface is the kinetic energy transferred by the molecules in the surface to the molecules in your fingers. You have to take note that temperature is not a measurement of the total kinetic energy of the molecules in the substance. So next topic will be about thermal equilibrium. After objects in thermal contact with each other reach the same temperature, we say the objects are in thermal equilibrium. When a thermometer is in contact with a substance, heat flows between them until they have the same temperature. Temperature is the indicator of thermal equilibrium in the sense that there is no net flow of heat between two systems in thermal contact that have the same temperature. To read a thermometer, we wait until it reaches thermal equilibrium with the substance being measured. The temperature of the thermometer is also the temperature of the substance. When the objects are in thermal equilibrium, no heat flows between them. Two systems individually in thermal equilibrium with the third systems are in thermal equilibrium with each other. The most widely used temperature scale is the Celsius scale. The number zero is the temperature at which the water freezes. The number 100 is the temperature at which water boils. The gap between the freezing and the boiling is divided into 100 equal parts cold degrees. The temperature scale used commonly in the United States is the Fahrenheit scale. The number 32 is the temperature at which the water freezes. The number 212 is the temperature at which water boils. Scientific research uses the SI scale, the Kelvin scale. Degrees are the same size as the Celsius degrees and are called Kelvins. On the Kelvin scale, the number zero is assigned to the lowest possible temperature, the absolute zero. At absolute zero, a substance has no kinetic energy to give up. Zero on the Kelvin scale corresponds to negative 273 degrees Celsius. Scale conversion arithmetic formulas can be used for converting from one temperature scale to another. A conversion from Celsius to Fahrenheit or vice versa can be very closely approximated by simply reading the corresponding temperatures from side-by-side -side scales. To convert temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit, obtain the actual Fahrenheit temperature, multiply the Celsius value by 9 over 5, and then add 32. Subtract 32 to get the number of Fahrenheit degrees above freezing, and then multiply by 5 over 9 to obtain to obtain the number of Celsius degree above freezing, that is the Celsius temperature. Simply add 263.15 to the temperature value in Celsius to convert to Kelvin. Okay, so our next topic will be about 
uh, thermal expansion. Most forms of matter, solid, liquid, and gases expands when they are heated and contract when they are cooled. When the temperature of a substance is increased, the molecules jiggle faster and normally tend to move farther apart. This results in the expansion of the substance. Gases generally expand or contract much more than liquid. Liquid generally expand or contract more than solids. Linear expansion can be calculated using this form formula. This table shows the coefficient of linear expansion of different materials. Increasing temperature usually causes increases in volume for both solid and liquid materials. The increase in volume, which is the delta V, is approximately proportional to both the temperature change or the delta T and the initial volume, which is represented by V sub zero. And this table shows the coefficients of volume expansion for different materials. So now let us discuss heat in physics. The energy that transfer from one object to another because of the temperature difference between them is called heat. Heat is energy in transit moving from a body of higher temperature to one of lower temperature. The direction of a sp spontaneous energy transfers always from warmer to a cooler substance. You have to remember that when two substances of different temperatures are in thermal contact, heat flows from the higher temperature substance into the lower temperature substance. This picture shows that the chocolate drinks is hot while the ice cube are cooled. When you mix this, the chocolate drink cools down and the ice cubes warm up and melt. Heat flows from the hot chocolate to the ice cube. If you touch a hot stove, energy enters into your hand from the stove because the stove is warmer than your hand. If you touch ice, energy from, passes from your hand into the colder ice. Heat will not necessarily flow from a substance with a more total molecular kinetic energy to a substance with less. Heat flows according to temperature differences, that is the average molecular kinetic energy differences. Heat never flows on its own from a cooler substance into a hotter substance. Just as water will not flow uphill by itself regardless of the relative amount of water in the reservoir, heat will not flow from a cooler substance into a hotter substance by itself. Our next topic is about heat capacity. The specific heat capacity of a material is the quantity of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 gram by 1 degree. A material requires a specific amount of heat to raise the temperature of a given uh, mass a specific number of degrees. This table shows the different heat capacity of different materials. Thank you for watching and listening. If you find this uh, video helpful, please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and God bless.